Oh, yes. Welcome back to Lunch Television 1226 on a Monday afternoon. Of course, everybody's got a soup ladle, a fork, a knife in their kitchen, but liquid nitrogen? Uh, I don't think so. No, <laughs> no not in the average so household. Executive chef of social in uh, Gastown. We've got Harmon Gill with us today. You're also the city TV master chef right. uh, for Eat Vancouver this year. Congratulations yeah. again and welcome. Thank you. So we're doing, we're cooking with liquid nitrogen. What are you going to be putting in here today? Um, I have a, a, a foam made with pickled uh, beets. Okay. And I'm going to poach it in liquid nitrogen for about 10 seconds. Okay. And you have to eat it immediately. Immediately? Immediately, oh, with boy. your fingers when okay. I serve it. All right. So I'll take the foam. Okay. Make a nice little macaron out of it. Yeah. Put it in. Bouncy, bouncy. Wow. So, yeah, this is probably something we don't want to try at home. Uh, no. No. So, it's in there. You don't want to touch the liquid nitrogen because that would freeze your finger off. It would. You get a third degree burn if you do it. Where would you get liquid nitrogen? Oh, you from? can get it from Air Liquid, actually. That's where I get it. Uh, where? Air Liquid. Air in, Liquid? Yeah, in Richmond. Oh, okay. All right. And then you spin it around. Now, is this something you serve at social as well? Yeah, we do. We do it table side, actually. Oh, really? So, here. I want you to take it with your fingers. I can touch it right now. Yeah, you can. Okay, I'm scared. And in the mouth. Really? Go, go, go. Mmm. <laughs> wow. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm creamy. And the beet flavor is huge. Did you see any smoke coming out of my nose? No? No. Out of my mouth? Okay. Because the floor one? director did it just before, and you could actually see the smoke coming out of his uh, nose. Maybe I didn't eat it fast enough. Okay, so... What else would you cook in liquid nitrogen if you could um, say cook? You can actually cook a lot of things. Uh, I can take like a fresh leaf of sorrel here uh -huh. and just dip it in. Yeah. And how long would you put it for 10 seconds as oh, well? Yeah. Like yeah. The other? Well, that's uh, kind of cool. It's a nice little party trick there, there you, you go. got going on there. This one. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you got to Take wait it with your finger. Dry. Okay. In the mouth. <laughs> wow. No okay. car. Okay, no point for my eating style. <laughs> Okay, that's very original. Okay, Kyle, do you want to come in here and try this? Get in here. We've got a nice yes, little uh, beet blossom here for you to have. A beet blossom? Well, that's what I just renamed it. What do you call them there at Social? Uh, we just call it a, a nitro beets. Nitro beets? Yeah. So you take it with your finger again and put it in the mouth. And it goes, I want go, to see go, smoke go. coming in your nose. That's exactly how he looks when he doesn't get in the makeup chair on time in the morning. <laughs> Except there's stuff coming out of his ears, too. Mm. <laughs> awesome. Is it, this is like a pretty unique way of cooking though. Like it most, is. Do most people do this? Is uh, this common? No, it's not common. It's not common here in Canada, for sure. Where'd you get the idea from the cook with uh, the nitrogen? I, I worked a year at the Fat Duck in London. Oh. And we actually use it a lot there. So it here, tingles. Here Again? Here we go. Yeah. Oh boy. I want to see smoke this time. <laughs> she with your mouth closed, please. Harmon, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming in this uh, afternoon. Again, working. social in Yelltown. Check it out. I will take a break here on Lunch Television. We're going to go to Daddy Boot Camp coming up with Greg Harper right after the break. Stay with us. Oh, so good. Good, eh? Really good. It tingles.